500 new cases of COVID-19 were reported today, while the majority, 92, are on Oahu. The neighbor islands also saw an increase with eight on the big island, two on Kauai, and one on Maui. And neighbor island mayors are monitoring the increase in COVID cases. Nikki Schenfeld follows up. Kauai has reported seven new cases in two days. The island has 17 active cases. Most are travel related. Mayor Derek Kawakami says they anticipated an increase with Trans-Pacific travel reopening, but he's concerned several have come in positive with pre-travel tests. We've had eight travelers so far that took the pre-test, didn't get their results, boarded an airplane, arrived on island, and then got their results uh, and it was positive, you know, and so it's, it's a big concern. Kauai is now averaging one and a half daily cases over a one week period. The Garden Isle could drop to tier three if two or more daily cases are reported over a two week period. What tier three means is that it would reduce the size of gatherings from 25 to 10, but it would also put restrictions on youth sports. Kawakami says cases up to this point don't show a connection. So pragmatically, it wouldn't make sense to impose restrictions on those um, of, on those type of things. Um, what we're seeing a relationship to is to travel. He says putting restrictions on businesses or operations not tied to outbreaks erodes public trust. So we want to base our decisions on science and facts. If Kauai reaches tier two and averages five to eight cases, or if hospitals become overwhelmed, they will opt out of the pre-travel testing program and require all travelers to quarantine. The island of Lanai has moved into a safer at home order after an outbreak occurred three weeks ago, prompting an island-wide lockdown. The island of Maui has seen five to six cases in the last three days. But our seven day rolling average is about 1.88 at this time. Now, if we have tomorrow another six and then, then the day after another six, obviously that's going to change the rolling average. So we're keeping a very close tab on what's going on. If Maui reaches five to ten cases over a one week period, they will opt out of the pre-travel testing program as well. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.